Hello everyone, everyone. Um, welcome to COM224 Communication Research and Writing. Um, I will be your professor for this course. My name is Maria Hegblum. Um, this is an online course. You can find out a little bit more about me um, in the introduction uh, group discussion that is due this week and hopefully I'll find out a little more about you there as well. Um, but in this video I just wanted to take a minute to introduce you to uh, the course and specifically to give you an idea of how Blackboard is set up and how it will work for us this um, semester. So this is the home page here so when you log on to the class which should now be available to you um, this is what you'll see. I believe if you scroll down <clears throat> there'll be tools that students can use that tell you things that are coming up or do. I'm not exactly sure how that gets set um, on the student's end, but you know it's worth messing around with a bit. Um, you can find out some basic information about the course here. I highly recommend that you all go and read thoroughly through the schedule, the syllabus and the schedule. You'll find that document here. You'll also find some other important information like how you can get a hold of me. Email of course works well, um, but especially because this is an online class, I encourage you to also consider calling me sometime or Skyping. Um, or if you are someone who is on campus sometimes during the week, you know, stop on in and see me. Um, I know email is convenient, but I think a lot of times, especially if you have a question about content, a face-to-face -face conversation or a phone conversation can work a little bit better. So I encourage you to use those means to contact me as well. Um, this section will lay out the course objectives and the learning outcomes. This is the things that I hope that you get out of this class. So it's useful to pay attention to this information and to, to say, you know, am I learning this information? If you aren't, let me know. It could be an issue with the way I've uh, designed assignments. It could be an issue with how you're understanding the assignments, but let's make sure we're on the same page. Um, the grade for this course, the breakdown is here. Um, you'll have some quizzes that you do over readings and PowerPoints that I ask you to watch and read in the course. A big component of this class is group discussion, and I'll talk about that further in a moment. Um, you'll also have various assignments that are due, and you have one big sort of ongoing paper in this class. Um, this 25% includes every single um, assignment that is labeled RP in your schedule, um, but that is devoted to writing this literature review. And we'll talk more about each of those assignments as we um, move forward in the course. And you'll have a final exam. This one text that is required, there will be other readings that are posted on Blackboard. This is the only book that's required. A few things to keep in mind with this book is that I, I have chosen this book in part because this is a really good resource that will help you not just in this class but will help you in every research and writing course that you take in the communication studies department. So while I know it's very tempting to sell books back at the end of the semester when a few extra bucks in your pocket would be a really nice thing to have, I would encourage you to consider keeping this one until you're done with your senior year. The other thing that this book has is in the back it has um, citation guides for APA, for MLA, and I think for Chicago. We will use APA in this class and you will most likely be asked to use APA in your other communication research courses. Um, and you will have to use it over and over again in all the classes where you're writing research papers. So it's a super useful resource. I recommend that you um, buy this book and that you keep this book. Um, so that kind of covers course information. Where you're going to find the bulk of what you need for this class is under this tab, Weekly Schedule. Um, you'll see in the weekly schedule, you know, I kind of have broken the class into units. And so at the beginning of each unit, you'll get a little overview page that kind of explains what we're going to do in this unit or what's important to get out of it. After that, the course is broken down by weeks. So you'll see this very first week from today through Sunday. Um, we're going to just be 
doing introductions. So the title will give you an idea of what the course is about. Um, you'll get a little bit of an overview here. Um, and then you'll, and then each section will break down um, the materials that we're covering for the week, the assignments that you'll be expected to do for the week, and a little heads up on what will be due in the coming week. So for instance, this week you're asked to watch this video. You'll see that the link will exist. It's not here now because I need to upload it when I'm done making this video, but a link for this will be right here. Um, you're asked to list, to watch and listen to this PowerPoint. The link will be included right there where it's listed. I usually try to give a heads up about how much time things might take. So for instance, this is a 17 minute um, sort of mini lecture. It helps to explain how the class fits into other classes you'll take in the comm department and you know what some of the um, I guess takeaways the things that I think are really important from this class so please watch that. Um, and then you know there's an optional short reading this is just a few pages and I think it's kind of a nice provides some nice context for the class and for thinking about research in general so you know if you have 10 minutes um, and you want to take a brief look at that I would encourage you to do so you'll also see that you have two things to do for me this week a very short self-assessment quiz um, and you know a group discussion basically the group discussion is just asking you to introduce yourself You'll find the assessments for the course, you'll notice there aren't links there, within the folder. So if you click on this, it will take you to the area where you can find the assessments. Um, so the self-assessment survey, um, you should open it up, it's a Word document, you should fill it in, and you should upload it here. Introductions, this is a discussion board. If you click on that, you can create a thread and add your introduction here. My introduction will be up there shortly. One important thing to note, I think that for the most part, um, for the most part, the assignments will be pretty straightforward and easy to understand. But I do want to take just a brief minute and talk about what the um, group discussion will look like starting next week. So this week everybody is asked to do the same thing, which is post a short introduction about yourself. After that, starting next week, the group discussions will become a little more complex. You'll be asked to answer some questions, maybe to find some links and post these. Um, each week there will be four individuals that are considered the least lead discussant. I will post the names of those individuals under that week. You need to pay attention to when you are the lead discussant. When you are a lead discussant for the week, you are expected to respond to the question or to complete the prompt that is identified in the group discussion for that week and to do um, to complete that work before midnight on Thursday afternoon. Everyone who is not a lead discussant for that week is expected to be a respondent. And that, mean they are, that means they are expected to respond to at least two of the um, forums that the lead discussants have posted. Um, I give some tips for how to respond in the syllabus, and I will give further explanation on each of the um, posts as you see them. You're expected to have your responses up no later than Sunday at midnight. Um, the lead discussants then are expected to reply to at least four of the um, posts that the respondents have put in. You'll be the lead discussant twice in the semester, and when you are the lead discussant, that's worth 10 points, a possibility of 10 points. When you are a respondent, it's worth a possibility of two points per week. Um, but what that equals out to over the course of the semester is that you get as much for beating the lead discussant as you do for responding. So it equals about 50% each of those parts of the grade. Um, overall as well, uh, something to keep in mind is that even though it's only 10 points and 2 points, which doesn't seem like a lot, overall this is worth 25% of your grade. So it's a big deal. You need to make sure you're doing it and staying on top of it. It's an easy thing to forget. So make a calendar, put it in there, um, that would be a good idea. 
Each week I will send you a kind of highlight, here's what's coming up, don't forget about this, bit of an explanation about the assignments that are due. Um, I will also oftentimes send a follow-up to assignments that you turn in, sort of explaining overall um, how people did, maybe answer some questions that come up, maybe giving some context to the assignment. Um, so please be on the lookout for those updates. A lot of times they will be in video form, but they might just be written as announcements. Um, a couple of tips as well. So I'll just end this with a few tips. If you have taken an online class, then you sort of already know how it works. But if this is the first online class that you've taken, there are a few things to keep in mind. I have more students fail out of online classes than I do face-to-face -face classes for a very simple reason. It's easy to forget about it. So for that reason, I highly recommend that you block off in your schedule a set amount of time each week to devote to this class, to do the coursework, to, and that I recommend you check in to Blackboard. You make it a planned check-in at least twice a week to make sure you're staying on top of things. Another thing to note is that in this class, like I mentioned before, I noted that the first PowerPoint you will need to watch for me is 17 minutes. I will almost always give you a kind of time frame of how much time I think it will take you to complete a, the assignments that are posted. I try to give you a heads up the, the um, previous week as well um, to let you know, you know, you have a big assignment coming up. I think it will take you three hours to complete. Um, generally, students have told me that my estimation of how much time it takes them is pretty accurate. So take those seriously and use those as a way to plan out your week so that you can cover what's required of you in this course. And then the last thing to keep in mind with this course is that many, many of the assignments build on each other. They're designed that one assignment leads to the next assignment and leads to the next assignment. So particularly in this class, if you miss one assignment or you fall behind, it has this sort of snowball effect and things get sort of bigger and more out of control. I do accept late work. You should read about that in the syllabus. Um, there will be a pen penalty for late work, but I will accept work late. Um, but the biggest issue with late work is that it creates a bigger and bigger problem. You get one thing in late and then next thing you know you don't have enough time to get the next assignment done and so on and so forth. I have found that when students start to get in a pattern of turning work in late, they have a really hard time being successful in the class. So the best thing you can do is to sort of stay on top of things, to create some kind of plan and schedule to do the work in this class. And I think in that way you will be very you have every possibility of being very successful in the course. Um, I think that pretty much covers it. Please, please get in touch with me. Don't be a stranger. Email, call me on the phone, stop into my office, make a plan to Skype. Um, I'd like to get to know you beyond just the sort of uh, basic exchange that we often have in an online setting. So welcome to the semester. And I look forward to sharing this class with you.